This bill corrects what is fundamentally a clear unfairness in relation to ministerial appointment legislation. And clearly, as we have seen today at second reading, there is support from all sides of the House to ensure that Cabinet Ministers can take maternity leave, and rightly so. But, like many members across this House, I do find it worrying that this huge hole in legislation has only been spotted now. And I think that sadly speaks volumes about this place, this current government, and dare I say it, previous governments as well, of which my party previously took a part. But while today we might be updating antiquated, uh, antiquated rules, this piece of legislation doesn't so much take us up to the present day as into the 1990s. And, of course, in relation to maternity leave, there is a particular element involved in ensuring that a new mother can physically recover from the birth. I was a police officer for 12 years, and it was absolutely critical that we took time off work. Why all mothers should take at least two weeks off work in the first instance? So it was incredibly saddening for me to hear of the experience of those MPs who have been forced to attend this place, either immediately prior to their birth or shortly thereafter.